our relationship with money represents our relationship with life. That's why I've dedicated my career to figuring out how my work as an accountant can tell stories about people that will ultimately help them improve their lives. It all started when someone told me, you're obsessed with chocolate. And I was like, what? No, I'm not. But then I wondered, could I be in denial about my own obsession? Off I went, tracking my spending on chocolate. And there it was. I was spending about $50 a month on chocolate. Analyzing my expenses helped me to understand that I had an emotional pattern. When I'm struggling or celebrating, I binge on chocolate. I had struggled with my weight for a very long time, and I was convinced that my diet was not the problem. It was my lack of effort in exercise, and certainly not chocolate. So I continued to exercise, but devoted less time to it, and instead shifted my focus and energy towards developing a more healthful diet. I lost 50 pounds. I believe we can all do this type of audit of our own financial behavior and that we can learn surprising things about ourselves through tracking and charting our expenses. When an expensive pattern emerges, see what that pattern says about yourself. Do you buy pizza every Wednesday night because that's when you're too tired to cook after a stressful weekly meeting? Did you buy that new smartphone just before a major function so that your friends would notice? Though it can be difficult to take a good hard look at our financial behavior, it can reveal some deep emotional truths that can help us reevaluate our careers, our relationships, and our priorities. So give it a try. The payoff could be huge.